So, as you can see from the title and some of my other videos, this whole give me personal space, but nah, I don't wanna, never end. So here's Cup trying to touch me because he thinks saying no is a, oh, I should make my move and touch her more so I could totally make her more comfortable. No. And then there's Apple trying to hug me even though I'm dodging him like a Naruto Shinobi. Like, no, he can't get a hint. And here we arrive to random old man in the store. Who are you? Uh, so here's a bit of context. I was probably like 16 years old and it was literally like any other day. And my family and I decided to go food shopping because living. We like living mostly and food is a requirement. So we're going around the food mart and my dad and my brother are going around the food mart on their own while my mom and I were in the fruits and vegetable area. I tend to just help push the cart, but over the yonder, somewhere over the hill, I see, oh my God, is that, is that my favorite fruit? My watermelon! And I'm just picking out which watermelon is the juiciest because sometimes you can tell which watermelon is a mm, mm, mm kind. I, I know, it's great. <laughs> so I was just looking around and I just noticed there's this old man coming by and I didn't think much of it because I'm too busy picking out my heaven for that week. And then he just started to come closer. Oh, huh, I guess he's picking his watermelon too. Oh, uh, excuse me, what is happening? I, I'm not the watermelon, it's over there, across from me, hello? He touched the side of my top torso from behind and basically touching the side of my breast. A bit too long for comfort. I immediately turned around cause what in the actual frick just happened? It was that old man. And he was just kind of made a, oh, ha <laughs> ha, oops. And laughed it off and walked off. Bruh, you can't just do that and leave with no explanation. Like, hello, who are you? Oopsie, I just touched the side of your breast in public, I'ma leave. I wasn't as confrontational back then, not that I am now, but 16 year old antisocial me was just like too afraid to say anything. So I just kind of stood there for a bit. And then after I got some sense into myself, I walked over to my mom trying to figure out how to calmly tell her, yo, this guy tried to like low key grope me, but nah, this isn't the situation to be calm about it. So I eventually look over to my mom. Um, mom? Hmm? What is this, sweetie? So, uh, well, what? Tell me already. So, someone came up behind me and he, uh, touched my torso here, like my side. Excuse me? He did what? He, he just suddenly came up to me. Rightfully so, my mom was absolutely furious and fuming that some random dude just touched her 16 year old daughter and we went out hunting for this man. And when we found him though, we were uncomfortably shocked to see that he was with his wife and his granddaughter, his family. <laughs> Why, why you gotta touch a younger girl's chest while your family's around like excuse me my mom immediately went up to him and his family and i'm just following from behind and she asked excuse me i heard you touched my daughter uh, oh what her <laughs> I, I see there's a misunderstanding i just thought she was my wife several concerning things here one i'm 16 and him and his wife are in their 60s. His wife looked nothing like me. Different colored clothes, different hair length, the height wasn't really the same. Did I look 60 from behind or something? Or did she look 16 from behind? From like, hello? I think the gap is significantly large for that excuse to pass. Especially since we had no similar features other than the fact that we're female. Second, even if he did do that to his wife, why are you groping her chest like, out in public, hello? Maybe it was a hug, but that is the strangest hug I mean, I ever felt, saw. Ugh. Oh, yeah, haha. I didn't mean to do that or anything. <laughs> Bruh, he just didn't care. He just cared about what he looked in front of his family for doing that and didn't even seem apologetic at all. He was just laughing it off. I didn't know what to do in that situation at the time since it was the first time something like that just happened like out of the blue, just boom. Hands. I didn't want to cause a scene and I was too scared to say anything, but hell no, I should have said something in that situation. If I could go back to her, I'd say, this isn't okay. 
Uh, tell him off! He shouldn't be doing that! He tried to touch you! That uh, half ass apology ain't gonna cut it. Before my mom could say any more, he just kinda kept pushing his family away and walked off. I just stuck close to my mom and just thought about what the heck just happened here! You should tell me if anything like this happens again. How dare he try to touch you like that? How do you even look anything like his wife? Like, there's no resemblance! Thanks, mom. I want to think he really did do that on accident. But it just seems like he made that excuse up just to have a reason to touch me since one, again, we didn't look similar at all, or the fact he held me like that long enough to where it didn't seem like an accident makes me think he's probably done this before. We continued shopping, but then we kept running into him in the food market. We'd be in the other side of the building and then, wow, he's here, poof! And then boom, he's there! Uncomfortable levels be rising! I don't, I don't, I don't, we eventually just left the store and we met up with my dad and my brother and he wasn't really happy to hear that was happening either but nothing was really done. I guess moral of the story is that if something like this happened, speak up about it. I was just too scared to say anything at the time and I wasn't sure what to say but you shouldn't just stand there and let that happen. I was just lucky enough to have my mom speak up for me at least so hopefully he won't do it anymore or his wife talks some sense into him since we look nothing alike at all. So if she was stupid, she would confront him about it, especially if it happened on multiple occasions. So yeah, say something! Say something! <laughs> Do you want some keychains or some of that customization? Oh, and how about a pin? Oh, so official, damn! Well, 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 if you want some of that, I got it. This video is sponsored by Vogue Grace. It's a great place for artists to make their own custom merch to sell. They sent me a sample pack to look at and it's really high quality. Just, just look at it, just look at it. So the sample pack has lots of different types of customizable keychains, stickers, washi tape, acrylic stands, and so much more. There's a lot on their website so you can check it out. Just looking at them makes me want to make my own. So if things go well, I want to make my own designs and maybe give away to some of you. Speaking of giveaways, two of my subscribers, that's you guys, can both win a $50 coupon to Vogue Grace to try their products. Just make sure you subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. I'll pick two random comments and I'll reply to you, so make sure you guys enter! The winners will be announced on April 1st, 2022. If you don't answer within 10 days, I'll pick someone else. I will leave a link to their website in the description, so check out their products if you're interested. Okay, on three. One, two, three. What's up guys? Welcome back to another banger video! No. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you for watching! Hope you listened to my advice. <laughs> I'm here with True if you're wondering who that was. Um, yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that in. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I'm keeping that. So, so the reason why you're here, you, you, you know, True was the one who edited the video and, uh, had a... So what was your experience? <laughs> Uh, just as good as you expect any experience to be when you're editing a video about someone touching your girlfriend. It was great. It was great. And if I could go back in time and edit more of this video, I would. I definitely did not want to shoot myself in the face while editing this. No! And okay, so that's why we have him st you stomping him. You're stomping the living shit out of him. I'm like, yay! Yeah, yeah, hopefully this video pays for the therapy charges that I'm going to have to pay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look after you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I was gonna mention. Oh, yeah. Um, The next video is gonna be the who's more likely to. Because tr True, me, and Marcus and Blade, we all recorded together. We all got your questions. Some were great, some were trash. An experience. We'll call them an experience. <laughs> so yeah, check it out. I'll ho hopefully have them out by either April or June. And yeah, yeah anything else you want to say, baby? Uh, long live the the the. No, I don't have anything else to say. Hope you enjoy <laughs> so I can pay for my baby therapy sessions. I bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye. I love you all.